What's up, YouTube? Hefe coming to you, Captain Awesome Fish Room, Jeff Chromas Pro Vibe, bringing y'all a new video today. Got some new stuff, and just wanted to share it with y'all. Being kind of quiet, my son is asleep, taking a nap. Y'all know how that is if you have kids, anyway. Uh, but yeah, check that out in the background. Finally got all my posters put up for us. What do you think, brother? Looking good, looking good. I need that newest one of your umby, bro. Man, dope, delicious. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Let's get it cranking. See y'all in a sec. What's up guys? A little short video, got some new plants in the mix here from my buddy Ruben. Now, I'm going to leave his last name out because I don't know, but uh, his YouTube channel will be linked inside the description so all y'all can check out his YouTube page. But it's looking pretty good. The UG is starting to grow, send off a little run or so as the hair grass, but today we're looking at the sawtooth high grow, you see right there and right there. Uh, another form of high grow, this green plant right there, and the lobella. I call it a cardinal plant uh, in green form. I like, I mean, I don't know why, I just call it a cardinal plant. Uh, but got that, and those two forms of high grow, and something else I want to say. Let me look, let me look. Bella, the hydro. No, 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 that's it, that's it, yeah. But the Pinnatophyta here in the front, doing well, it's growing. A uh, slow grower, I've noticed. And did a big trim yesterday. It's kind of thin out the hole there. And this bushy corner is starting to come together exactly how I had pictured it. I'm um, thinking about getting rid of the rest of the dwarf baby tears. Uh, not digging those so much anymore. Just not in this setup, I guess. I mean, it, it should just be a little more bushy up here, and I think that UG is really going to take off and do what I want it to do, especially if the dwarf hair grass grows up into it. Uh, kind of like the Rikia and Glosso that Takashi Amano does. You get kind of a taller and lower lobe there, but... Uh, looks pretty good. Added the Crinum Calamistratum to this side over here. Don't think I'm going to keep it there, but just seeing what it's going to do inside of this tank. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to take out some of this Downoy, and uh, I got a buddy that needs some anyway. My buddy Dolly BH. So, probably take out some Downoy and pop it back there as like a kind of centerpiece plant and have the rest of the down oil like surround it kind of like a, a tree in a front yard type of look if that makes sense uh, not completely sure on it yet but it's there uh, that's one of the higher lit spots in the tank uh, not as high lit as that back area right there but it's one of the higher lit spots but everything else is looking good so just wanted to give you all a little update of it and we'll go over to another tank and we'll show you all what we're doing here and then I'll cut y'all loose. Alright. Now, can't make a video without showing Cletus. I mean, he's just, just a cool fish. But, um, one of y'all are about to get an email from me with these trimmings. You know who you are, so I hope you're excited. Uh, I'm not going to say what the plants are, but you know what they are. So, hope y'all are excited. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm gonna pop down here and check this guy out because he's getting big. Still eating the blood worms and the occasional occasional uh, veggie krill, but he's starting to get 
these really amazing colors on them. Another day, you see that spot right up on the top, that dark spot, and I thought I was seeing a trident, which is a newer discovered species of pike, and I started getting really excited, but then I realized that uh, that pike that I was thinking of didn't have the rest of those black blotches, so I don't know. It's kind of a fish room formality there, but I thought I'd share it with y'all. Uh, rhino plecos are doing great. This guy is starting to be less shy every single day. Uh, normally, every time I sit down right here, he runs to the back and tucks, but now he's just been out. And that's, in, that's been since I've been feeding him the bed, or, well, I mean, he eats veggie krill too, but uh, since I've been throwing bloodworms in here for the pike, uh, this, this guy has been, you know, a lot more front and center, and, you know, just, just been acting different, really. Uh, colors are still popping out. Uh, I like to, I like to think that's because of the Southern Delight fish food I'm feeding them. Uh, all my other fish brightened up in color since I started feeding that food. Uh, even since NLS, Hikari, YFS, all that stuff, guys. So, uh, if you want to try it out, go over to Facebook, check out Aquatic Support Systems, uh, like the page. All the links are inside the description. Go and check out New Algae as well. Uh, be sure to pick you up some of that stuff. And it definitely balances out your tank. And uh, if you have planted tank or fish, it benefits both. I mean, it creates a diatom bloom uh, where the microfauna in there uh, eat that, and then the fish eat the microfauna. So, you know, I mean, it definitely benefits the health of your system. Uh, can benefit the health of your fish and if you have plants it definitely benefits the health of that so make sure you go check that out pick you some up uh, use that link inside the description to go there with that said guys I hope you enjoyed today's video be sure to rate comment and subscribe let me know what y'all are thinking this is what I'm doing this is what I've done happy fish keeping and stay true to the hobby peace out